Hey everybody, Kirk Anderson here with uh, the St. Croix Fire Department in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. I'm going to do a quick uh, tell on how to clone your HT-1250. If you are a fire department that's still using the HT-1250s, uh, you haven't gone digital yet, uh, you, you can find these radios very affordably online, uh, whether through eBay or through a dealer. But uh, these radios are uh, close to 15 years old, and yet there's still a lot of models that are unused. So if your county is still using analog frequencies and hasn't switched over to digital, you can pick these up and replace some damaged radios, um, get parts, etc. But if you do have one of these radios, um, it's a pain in the neck to program. You need to have a special programming software, which you should still have. But uh, what I did is I did a little research. I went to uh, the bat board, uh, batlabs.com, which is a forum. Um, some of the forums on there are from the early 2000s. Um, this particular post was from 2005 on how to clone your HT1250 from Motorola. And I picked up a cloning uh, cable from eBay. It's basically just uh, two mic um, connectors that program the radios together. So first thing you're going to want to do is have both radios off and put the programming cable on to each radio. Once they're uh, secured, I'm going to find the screw, screw hole here. Once they're secure, then the radios can talk to each other. And the cable is um, probably not uh, Motorola. It feels pretty lightweight, um, but it does work. So I have um, about seven radios that we got from an ambulance service that went to digital and to like a, digi a dual frequency digital and analog, so they no longer have to carry two radios. They were carrying this radio for our county and then um, another radio for another county that does have digital. So now they're combining all the frequencies. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to take the radio that has the programming that you want and you want to leave that off. Then you want to take the radio that you want to clone and turn it on. And then there's two buttons over the push to talk and under the push to talk, one over, one, one under. You're going to want to simultaneously push those. I'll do it from the back here so we can see what it says. Push them together and then turn your radio on. And it'll say cloning to and you release. This one says program. You wait a few seconds and it says clone complete. And now these radios have the same, uh, same channels and same functions for all the buttons. You've cloned those radios. Just simply turn them off and then take the cloned radio, put it to the side as finished, and then you'll keep using this radio here, which is the master radio to clone the rest of them. And I have a lot of radios to clone. And uh, it was a great gift from um, an ambulance service that has uh, partnered with us and um, given us a lot of radios for our fire department so that we um, don't have to spend our budget on that communication. So thank you to uh, Lakes Regions, um, St. Croix Valley EMS for your support and we look forward to uh, continuing our working relationship. If you have any questions, you can go to the Batwing uh, batboard.batlabs.com and search for HT1250 cloning. It also works with the 750 um, HT. And uh, the other thing I should say is that the radios have to be the same. So this one is my, my radio that I bought from eBay and I bought it with a keyboard. This radio does not work to clone with this radio. This is the LS and this one has the keypad, so they do not clone together, so I should note that. Um, otherwise, 
all these radios have worked fine. Um, the LS versus whatever the key, the keypad version is. So they have to be the same exact radio. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.